Brian Powell of I Run Far here with Rob Carr before the 2013 Western States 100. How you doing, Rob? I'm doing really well. Thanks for having me. Oh, my pleasure. First 100. What's going through your head? Yeah, um, a whole lot. Um, oh, oh, sure, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I'm really excited. It's been uh, kind of a short kind of span from when I committed to the race to, to race day. So uh, I haven't changed a whole lot, but um, I feel really happy that I'm hitting the race super healthy, mm -hmm. physically and mentally. And I think that plays a big role for me. Um, I've always had kind of um, little hiccups going into races, some little niggle and uh, everything's great heading into Western. So I, I can't ask for anything more. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, so did you go into Leona Divide trying to get a spot or is this sort of a spontaneous, <laughs> oh, and you also have a spot in Western States if you want it kind of thing? Yeah, so uh, again, the ultra, running the ultras is so new to me, I had no, uh, plans of running Western at all. Um, even up until about a, a week or two before the uh, Leona, um, uh, no plans. And then I, I don't know, there's some, some just clicked about six days before. And I thought, you know, how many opportunities do you get to run Western States, one of the, the greatest ultras, you know, there, there are. So um, I started thinking about it about six days before. And, uh, you know, I, I had a great race at the Leona and I wanted to see how my body was recovering. Mm -hmm. um, that's when I, uh, you know, the following two weeks, I hit the canyon 13 days after Leona and uh, I felt great. So I, I committed uh, the night after my run in the canyon. Um, awesome. So it was kind of a short time frame. Was the canyon a pre plan before you were thinking about Western States or was that a, another test to see if you were ready? No, I, I, I don't think it played much of a role with my decision with Western. Um, you know the canyon there's there's only two time frames of the year where you have a good shot of, of running really well so um even the canyon was up in the air i was just watching the calendar mm -hmm. and watching the the forecast for the that weekend and it turned out to be a great weekend to run so I, I got in there and got it done um and sure you know when i got out of that uh i guess i had until the following day to commit uh to western i was feeling great so i just uh <laughs> got on ultra sign up and got it done awesome have you, what have you done for training in between there? I mean, you literally had no plans of running 100 two months ago, and what have you done since? Yeah, Anything you know, specific? one of the things I was apprehensive uh, in the time between Leona and committing is, uh, you know, in my head, I was thinking, I gotta do so much training, I gotta bump up my miles, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. And I just really settled down. I, I had been running and racing and training great leading up to Leona. And, you, you know, it's, it's 100 miles, it's a different race, but, it's too short of a time frame to really drastically change your plan, your, your training. So I bumped the miles up a bit, and uh, I think more importantly, I was really focused on the little things. You know, I have a circuit routine I hit twice a week. I was diligent about hitting that um, rest, nutrition, listening to my body, taking the rest days when I needed it. And uh, it's worked out really well, thankfully. Yeah, any extra downhill training? And you feel pretty prepared from that, from your run at the canyon? Yeah, I, I did a little extra, but um, my quads were feeling great in my my three canyon runs this year. Um, and yeah, I bumped up the, the downhill running a little bit, but nothing drastic. My quads have been doing really well the past year and a half, so um, I feel pretty confident about the quads in Western. Gotcha. Cool. And how about the run in the canyon, you sort of do have a window and you choose it based on weather. Mm -hmm. You don't this weekend, it's gonna be hot. How do you fare in the heat? I you live in Flagstaff, so you... Yeah, yeah. <sighs> you know, I just haven't had a ton of experience. I think my run in Leona was real positive. Mm -hmm. um, it was a very hot day. I think it was over 90 when I finished. Um, but, you know, I was suffering, but I think everybody suffers to a certain extent. So um, I'm just gonna see how it plays out up there. I, I really don't know, to be honest, but I'm gonna be real diligent about hydration running smart race. Yeah. Anything you're excited about running a hundred? Anything particularly scary or uh, hundred heat. mile distance? Yeah, no, I'm excited. I, this whole this whole ride's been a real adventure for me since I uh, started last November at uh, Bootlegger. Um, I'm excited to get out there and see how my body responds to, to 100 miles. Mm -hmm. um, the heat is intimidating, but uh, I think it's uh, we're on an equal playing field. And I think, uh, you know, being a smart runner is gonna go a long, long way tomorrow. Yeah. Saturday. Or Saturday, yeah. yeah. I mean, you come from a track background originally, some cross country collegiately, some road racing after that. Yeah. How are you gonna, you know, you're gonna be going up emigrant, or emigrant pass, and yeah. how are you gonna temper your, your effort? I mean, with the Grand Canyon, you're, you gotta be pushing it to go for that kind of time. Yeah, for sure. Um, I just gotta be patient. It's yeah. gonna be difficult. There's no doubt about it. It's a, it's a long race at a slower pace than I'm used to. 
both in races and training. So, um, you know, I'm a little stubborn at times, but I'm just going to have to suck it up and, and be the smartest person I can come race day. Yeah, so no flying off the front for you? No, no, there will be none of that. No, <laughs> I, I will not even entertain the thought. You will not be the first one to the top. <laughs> I will not be the first to the top. Uh, yeah, it it's good. It generally doesn't work out. So. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, also yeah. have fun out there, man. Thank Thanks you so much. And uh, best of luck in your first 100. You as well. Yeah. Thanks.